First thing we want to talk about is now the body when it comes to passing and the first thing we want to cover is the triple threat position. What is the triple threat position? So we've caught the ball nice and early, the ball's coming from the right side of my body. I've got three things I can do now. So I can pass the rugby ball, I can run the rugby ball and I can now get into, into a position to kick the rugby ball. When you've got a team that really cares about the triple threat position, we all of a sudden always try to put it there. Instead of putting the pass too far out in front, down too low which makes it hard to catch, we're wasting time and not getting the ball quickly into that triple threat position. When you watch teams with a real accurate passing game, it's amazing how much time they look like they have because they're getting the ball straight at their body right in that triple threat position, which means they can make much better decisions. So what do we want to do with our hands when catching the rugby ball? First point is they're both independent, so not touching, palms facing where the ball's coming from. So I'm, I'm receiving the ball from my right, that's where my palms are facing so that I can catch the rugby ball. Fingertips pointing to the sky, which makes it easy to move and manipulate and catch the ball cleanly. So there's two styles of pass that we want to cover off, catching a pop pass where the ball's floating to us, and then when we're catching a spiral. So as we spoke about, when we're catching either of the two passes, we want to have our palms facing towards the target and where the ball's coming from with our hands up. So that when we catch this pop pass, we've caught the ball and don't have to rearrange our hands. We can transfer the ball across our body and get rid of the ball. Let's do a couple of reps. So I'm catching the ball, my hands have caught the ball, my palms are up on a, in a really strong position, and I can then get straight into my pass. One more. Again, caught the ball nice and clean, don't have to rearrange, I'm ready to go, I can transfer the ball straight away. We lose time by catching the ball ugly and getting our hands in bad positions, then having to rearrange our hands. So it's a really important coaching cue that we can catch the ball clean and move the ball straight away however we've caught it. So the next thing is catching a spiral. So same thing, our palms are up with our fingertips pointing to the sky. But when I'm doing a spiral pass, I actually just want to drop my spiral passing hand just slightly, about an inch. So if I'm passing the ball to my left, my right arm and hand is going to be the dominant passing hand. So I'm just going to drop that slightly. So that when I catch this ball, I can actually catch the ball clean, but I'm already in a passing position with my right hand, which is my dominant passing hand, already up the back of the ball, nice and fat on the ball and well, and I can get straight into my passing game. So let's have a look at that. So I'm receiving the pass from my right. So my right hand just drops about an inch, I'm palms facing forward and, and fingers up. Now I can catch that ball cleanly and get straight into my passing game. Let's do another. Beautiful. So a really important part of catching is actually cutting the ball off. So again, if the ball's coming from my right side of my body, think about a line just outside my shoulder. I want to try to get my hands past that line and really meet the ball. It's going to give me a lot more time and I can get to that triple threat position really quick. So receiving your pass, this is my line. I really want to be out here. I catch the ball, ball comes in, and here I'm catching the ball nice and early. This way I can get into that triple threat and open up those opportunities to play. One thing that was coached for a while is turning your whole body to target. So if the ball's coming from my right, actually getting my chest at the ball and my hips at the ball, really turning here. For me, that means that we were catching back towards the ruck and having to turn over ourselves to then go forward. So what I want to see is hips nice and square, my feet are facing forward, my chest is nice and square, it's just my hands that are reaching and again cutting off that ball, catching the ball nice and early. So try to avoid turning those, those uh, hips and chest into the ball because we just have to rotate to get going forward. We're much faster and can catch the ball and punch onto the ball a lot better if we're hips squared, chest square, facing forward reaching for the ball, cutting it off. So what should we do with our feet when waiting for the pass to come? So we've worked really hard, we've got ourselves set. I like to be 50-50, so on the balls of our feet, both 50 in my front leg, 50 in my back leg, meaning that I can be really patient. If we're too far forward and leaning, chances are we're gonna jump the gun on that uh, pass and roll forward too far close to the advantage line. So just waiting 50-50. The other thing too, if we're too big, that means that this step here is gonna be really big and overextended, meaning that we can't take opportunities just to use our pace and gas onto the ball once we've received the pass. So 50-50, nice and close, keep those feet under ourselves, means we're gonna make better decisions and also be quicker off the mark and not too overextended. 
So before we talk about follow through and getting that perfect, I wanna talk about storing energy in our bicep and our pec before passing. So before we've even caught the ball, we can think about really storing energy in that bicep and that pec to really rip and turn through the ball. So I always coach players, get your chest and your hands shooting nice and quick. So if my hands catch and start shooting with my chest, I can create heaps of rip power and really get some punch behind the pass before even thinking about what my follow through is gonna look like. So catch the ball, shoot those hands, get those hands moving really quick, and then our chest can bring in some power as well. So what does the perfect follow through look like? Now a lot of coaches get carried away with this trying to get our players like robots finishing here. The re reality is, is in a game we don't be running at full speed and we can't actually follow through perfect each time. But for coaching reasons it's really good to learn how to finish pass and finish strong through the pass. So how I coach it is palms facing down. We actually want to be looking through our fingertips to target meaning that we can just have our hands slightly high, we'll get good elevation on the pass, but because of all that power that we've stored, we've used that chest rip, we can get it through to target, finish nice and high, strong looking through our fingers. The key thing is not over rotating, so it's a really easy cue. If our hands and chest get past where we want to pass the ball to, we've, we've lost our power and let the power flow out of the pass. So really be in control of the body, rip hard, but then have the ability to stop the chest and the body at that finishing point through to target. So from there we've caught the ball, we punch through, finish high, palms down, looking through our hands with a big strong chest. So the last thing I want to talk about is now the decision making to use all this good stuff we've just speak, spoke about. So catching the ball clean, the fast transfer and being really in control of our upper body. So we've worked really hard in the game, we've got ourselves set, my feet are in a really good position, my hips are square, chest is square and I can really accelerate if I choose to. The reason why I really love this fast transfer spiral pass is I can catch the ball clean and get it to the outside player as soon as possible. That means I've had to make the decision that that's what I'm going to do before I've even caught the ball. So I like to use the example of a basketball player when they're set waiting for a pass about to take a three point shot, they've already made the decision that they're going to make that play. So we can do the same in rugby, make the decision that way I can execute it really fast. Cool, so I get myself set, my feet are nice and square, again palms and fingertips, we want to point them towards the ball, cut the ball off, catch the ball clean, and now I can get straight into that fast transfer spiral, get through to my work and give my outside players time and space.